In this video, let us see how to deploy Django on Python anywhere. So let's get started. So just click on start running and create a beginner account. So this is the procedure to create your account. I have already have your account, so I will log in using my credentials. So let me log in using my credentials. So after you log in, the dashboard will look something like this. So this is the project that we will deploy to the Python anywhere. So let's see how to deploy this Django project. Before we proceed ahead, let's upload all your project files to the GitHub. As you can see, I have uploaded all my project files to this repository. Make sure you upload all your project files to your repository. This is my project files in the file explorer. After you upload your project files, so let's then continue ahead. First of all, let's go to console. I have two running console, so let me delete this. After so let's click on this bash to create a new console. So this is the bash shell that we will work on. Before we proceed ahead, let's create a virtual environment. You install all our Python dependencies. To create a virtual environment, type the following commands. Make virtual and and the name of the virtual environment is Django VENV. And select the Python version. I'm going to choose the Python 3.10. Let me correct the make virtual environment. Now press enter. As you can see, now our virtual environment has been activated. So let's install all our project dependencies. In this case, I need to install the Django on the pillow model. If you have any other dependencies for your project, install all of that here. Now our dependencies has been installed successfully. So let me clear the terminal. Let's copy the uh, URL of this GitHub repository. We're going to clone this repository. So just type git clone. Paste the URL that you have copied and press enter. So, so let's duplicate this tab and go to phone now. So after that, click on web. Currently, we don't have any web apps. So let's click on add a new web app. And click on next and select the manual configuration and select the Python version and click on next. Now we have created the web app. Scroll down, you need to configure the projects. So let's enter our virtual environment that we have created, Django VENV. This is the virtual environment that we have created in the bash shell. So let's select the files now. You can see that we have a folder in 10 element. So this is the repository that we have cloned. Let's open that folder. Here we have all the project files. So let's scroll down and enter our source code directory. To get that, just go to the bash shell. If you use the ls command, we have the internet LMS folder. Let's jump into that LMS folder. Now type pwt to get the current working directory. If you use the ls again, you can see that we have here LMS app. Let's go inside that LMS app and now type pwd to get the current working directory. Let's copy this path and paste it here. So this is the folder where our settings.py is located. Let's also change this to, so this is the root directory. This is where my manage.py file located. Let's paste that here. The source code directory is where your settings.py is located. The working directory is where the manage.py is located. After that, just click on this configuration file. Here, yeah, scroll on. So this is for the flaws. Let's delete this. And uh, above Django, let's delete all of this. Let's uncomment in Django now. Let's go to the bash shell to copy where your manage.py file is located. So let me copy the folder and paste it here. This is where my manage.py file is located. So let's, so let me copy again and paste it here. Let's change this to your app name. In this case, lms.settings. Now click on save. Let's go to the form now and select the web again. So click on reload. I think we have configured everything. So let's open the website in a new tab. 
so we got here error we need to add this to the allowed force let's copy this url and we need to paste this in the settings.py file for that just go to the files and select the folder in this case lm our settings file is inside the lms folder open the settings.py here inside is allowed host just paste the url that you have copied and click on save so go to the web again to reload our app click on reload again so let's refresh the web page as you can see now our django app has been deployed successfully so this is our django app that we have deployed on the python anywhere but if you go to the admin panel, as you can see, the CSS is not working for this admin panel. To fix this, just go to the settings.py file again. Scroll down. So here we need to provide where our static folder is located. To get where the static folder is located, just go to the bash shell. If you use the ls command, we can see that we have the static folder in the internet queue. I find LMS. We need to copy this folder. So let's copy, use the pwd command to copy this location and paste that here. And after that, use forward slash static root. So let's save this and again go to the bash shell and type the command python minus dot ey collect static. This command is very important so that so that the CSS will work properly in the admin panel. So let's press enter. If you use the ls command inside the static root, you can see that we have the admin access folder files has been copied to the static root. So let's change the static URL to static root and also the static files directly to static root. Let's save that file now. And we need to reload our web app reload again refresh our admin panel as you can see the css has been applied properly now so this is how you deploy a django app on python anywhere